My name is Katiuska Cabrera. I chose to talk about the Christ before Pilate painting. This painting was created by Rodrigo de Osona and Francisco de Osona in the 1500s. After they died, this artwork was part of the collection of the Count of Las Casas Rojas, Recovery of Heritage by the State in the United Kingdom. Currently, this artwork is located in the Prado Museum in Spain and has been there since 1983. Francisco de Osona was born in 1465 and died in 1514 in Valencia. His father, Rodrigo de Osona, was born also in Valencia in 1440 and died in 1518. Rodrigo de Osona received the influence of the Italian painters Paolo de San Leocadio and Francesco Pagano in 1472, Valencia, Spain. The technique used in this paint was oil on the panel. In the oil painting technique, it is necessary to prepare the panel and it must be sanded respectively to receive the paint. When the gluing, binding, and rigging system has been completed, the panel is glued again to reduce the plaster's porosities. The next step is the application of grease based on linseed oil with some color that contains drying properties. The pigments could be copper and lead. The purpose is practical and aesthetic, which consists of leaving the panel surface effectively prepared to receive the paint, thus providing a reflective effect and a tonal base. The width of this artwork is 84 centimeters and the height is 126 centimeters. Rodrigo di Osona was influenced by Flemish and Italian Renaissance painting like his son Francisco di Osona. He is considered one of the pioneers of Renaissance forms in Spanish painting. Italian influences are nuanced by the knowledge and application of formulas typical of Flemish painting, such as expressiveness far from idealization. The aspects of kindness and sweetness serve more devotional reasons than a rationalized and rigorous vision of reality. Despite this, his paintings show a concern for the scene's natural and architectural setting and extraordinary mastery of oil painting. Francisco de Osona incorporates large Renaissance buildings that announce the modernity of their paintings. The painting tells of Jesus, barefoot, bound, with a purple tunic and a rope around his neck, surrounded by henchmen and soldiers who presents him to Pilate. Pilate was seated on a small dais with a double golden necklace, a cap with a red bow, and sumptuously dressed in velvet and fine brocade. In this artwork, we notice that he was about to question Jesus. In the lower left corner appears the executioner's angry figure, roughly seated, holding the rope of Jesus. A soldier is also seen in profile, with his left hand on his sword's hilt, whose white tones counteract the polychrome warmth. In the background, you can see the architecture and nature scenes. The painting has a religious symbolism that tells the story of Jesus when he was presented tied before the governor, Pontius Pilate. Pilate set out to question Christ regarding the accusations against him about various blasphemies. The painting shows that he was surrounded by guards and other characters that, according to their clothing, can be assumed to be the priests who accused Jesus. Sitting next to Pilate, we observe the executor of the condemned prisoners. The painting also shows a window where we can observe a landscape with rocks, leafy trees, and architecture with pointed capitals. In this artwork, we can also observe white blocks through which space is reached, a tiny door that is barely visible and is open. 